bliss is the most serene state of a human being it is characterized by feelings of delight and contentment with hope in the heart and a smile on the face it is the ultimate positive emotion now the question is are you in a blissful state right now if not move towards it because this is the one of the main purposes of life man's constant search for happiness certainly everybody wants freedom from sorrow and attainment of happiness everybody is restless for the attainment of happiness they make continuous efforts to find it a human being's every action revolves around this goal and it is the center of attraction for all know that happiness or bliss is neither in the past nor in the future the joy that you are searching in present in the very moment you are living now happiness is also not found just by searching rather it is found by losing oneself and merging with the supreme soul god understand that just as rivers including the holy ganges merge into the ocean and achieve their goal in the same way a seeker can attain the goal of bliss only by reaching his center the supreme soul still the question may arise what is bliss actually there could be many definitions of bliss some try to find it in wealth some in relationships some in temporal pleasures and still some in doing their duty according to upanishads however bliss is nothing but the supreme being god so god is bliss and bliss is god bliss is in fact synonymous with god and that is why all saints and seekers who want to reach god add bliss anand to their names like yogaanand sampurnaanand etc they are in search of god and that ultimate bliss so how to attain bliss and how to find it while doing worldly activities different people try differently to find their happiness some think let's build a home and search for happiness while some think let's make strong relationships to find it some people go to temples some to mountains while some on holidays in foreign countries all are in search of bliss yet the question remains what is real bliss and how to find it where is bliss a lot of people think if i achieve certain things in life i will be happy this notion is partially true and not absolutely true material things will only bring temporary joy but not permanent happiness and also no one thing your bliss is dependent just on you and not on others therefore if you are looking for happiness outwards then it is in vain and you can never attain happiness happiness is not dependent on your relationships happiness is an inside job dependent just on you on your efforts towards realizing god so to attain bliss try not to just search for god outside but immerse yourself in the remembrance of god dissolve yourself and let his grace take over bliss is in god realization when you will sit calmly with a focus on your inner peace and god your bliss will find you you just need to bring stillness to your inner world your inner peace and god's realization cannot enter you until you vacate the space which is filled with ego and various disturbances your ego undoubtedly is the biggest hindrance in the way of your happiness that is the reason you bow your head when you visit temples bowing means you are humble free from ego and so you are ready to realize god's presence at places of worship humbleness is within you and so you are in the state of peace and bliss so understand that your ego is a hindrance to blissfulness try to get away from it through meditation compassion towards the needy prayers and worship when you do so you will be envel- enveloped by blissfulness without any effort therefore keep in your mind that you are far more peaceful and powerful than your ego and nothing in life is impossible to achieve including bliss so move from ego to humility realize the element of divinity in your life and invite bliss into your life thank you